Periodontal diseases range from simple gum inflammation to serious disease that results in major damage to the soft tissue and bone that support the teeth. In the worst cases, teeth are lost. Whether your gum disease is stopped, slowed or gets worse depends a great deal on how well you care for your teeth and gums every day from this point forward. Our mouths are full of bacteria. These bacteria, along with mucus and other particles, constantly form a sticky colorless plaque on teeth. Brushing and flossing help get rid of plaque. Plaque that is not removed can harden and form tartar that brushing doesn't clean. Only a professional cleaning by a dentist or dental hygienist can remove tartar. The longer plaque and tartar are on teeth the more harmful they become. The bacteria cause inflammation of the gums that is called gingivitis. In gingivitis, the gums become red, swollen and can bleed easily. Gingivitis is a mild form of gum disease that can usually be reversed with daily brushing and flossing, and regular cleaning by a dentist or dental hygienist. This form of gum disease does not include any loss of bone and tissue that hold teeth in place. When gingivitis is not treated, it can advance to periodontitis which means inflammation around the tooth. In periodontitis gums pull away from the teeth and form spaces called pockets that become infected. The body's immune system fights the bacteria as the plague spreads and grows below the gum line. Bacterial toxins and the body's natural response to infection start to break down the bone and connective tissue that hold teeth in place. If not treated, the bones, gums, and tissue that support the teeth are destroyed. The teeth may eventually become loose and have to be removed. Smoking is one of the most significant risk factors associated with the development of gum disease. Additionally, smoking can lower the chances for successful treatment. Hormonal changes in girls and women can make gums more sensitive and make it easier for gingivitis to develop. People with diabetes are at higher risk for developing infections, including gum disease. Diseases such as AIDS and its treatments can also negatively affect the health of gums, as can treatments for cancer. There are hundreds of prescription and over-the-counter medications that can reduce the flow of saliva, which has a protective effect on the mouth. Without enough saliva, the mouth is vulnerable to infections such as gum disease, and some medicines can cause abnormal overgrowth of the gum tissue. This can make it difficult to keep teeth and gums clean. Some people are more prone to severe gum disease than others. People usually don't show signs of gum disease until they are in the 30s or 40s. Men are more likely to have gum disease than women. Although teenagers rarely develop periodontitis, they can develop gingivitis, the milder form of gum disease. Symptoms of gum disease include bad breath that won't go away, red or swollen gums, tender or bleeding gums, painful chewing, loose teeth, sensitive teeth, receding gums or longer appearing teeth. Any of these symptoms may be a sign of a serious problem, which should be checked by a dentist. The main goal of treatment is to control the infection. The number and types of treatment will vary between deep cleaning, medications, and surgical treatments. The dentist, periodontist, or dental hygienist removes the plaque through a deep cleaning method called scaling and root planing. In some cases a laser may be used to remove plaque and tartar. This procedure can result in less bleeding, swelling, and discomfort compared to traditional deep cleaning methods. Medications may be used with treatment that includes scaling and root planing, but they cannot always take the place of surgery. Depending on how far the disease has progressed, the dentist or periodontist may still suggest surgical treatment. 
surgery might be necessary if inflammation and deep pockets remain following treatment with deep cleaning and medications. A dentist or periodontist may perform flap surgery to remove tartar deposits in deep pockets or to reduce the periodontal pocket. In addition to flab surgery, your periodontist or dentist may suggest procedures to help regenerate any bone or gum tissue lost to periodontitis. Brush your teeth twice a day. Floss regularly to remove plaque from between teeth, or use a device such as a special brush or wooden or plastic pick recommended by a dental professional. Visit the dentist routinely for a checkup and professional cleaning. Don't smoke. In some studies, researchers have observed that people with gum disease when compared to people without gum disease were more likely to develop heart disease or have difficulty controlling blood sugar. Other studies showed that women with gum disease were more likely than those with healthy gums to deliver preterm, low birth weight babies, but so far, it has not been determined whether gum disease is the cause of these conditions. More research is needed to clarify whether gum disease actually causes health problems beyond the mouth, and whether treating gum disease can keep other health conditions from developing. In the meantime, it's a fact that controlling gum disease can save your teeth a very good reason to take care of your teeth and gums.